everybody, this is Heather Ramsey from Instructional Technology, and I want to tell you about one of my current favorite apps, Plickers. We see all kinds of great activities out there that use purchase clickers or devices to gather data from students. They're really great, but also very expensive. Today's app, Plickers, is a free program that gives students paper clickers to use and collect the same types of data. It's a great way to click quickly gather data from your students using an iOS or Android device. It's more cost effective than the responder programs that are available because your students don't need individual devices. They use paper clickers you print off the computer. You assign each student a number one time, print off their paper clicker, and it's attached to their name for the year. After you register and log in on www.plickers.com, the first step is to set up your classes. You only have to do this once per class. You'll click New Class, give your class a title, choose a grade level, and a subject. Now you'll be able to start adding in your students one by one. As you type them in, notice the available card number disappears from over here. This means that Annie has to have card number one, Brandon has to have card number two, Carson has to have card number three, and so on. Once you finish adding all your students to your class, Next, you'll go to the library. This is where you enter questions and assign them to your classes. There are two types of questions, multiple choice and true false. After you type your question, choose whether it's multiple choice or true false. Give your answer options. and choose which answer is correct, you can save your question. The button will pop up and give you the option to add to plan and you can choose which class to add it to. Once you've added all your questions to the library, you'll need to get your clickers. To do that, go up and click cards and download the type of clickers you want. I would recommend standard and this gives you 40 clickers and two clickers per page. This seems like a pretty good size for most of our students. After you download your clickers on the computer, it's gonna be time to print them. I would highly recommend printing them on cardstock so they hold up better. You're not gonna to wanna to laminate them because the reflection's gonna hinder the camera from collecting the answers correctly. If you're working with younger students, I would highly recommend writing their name on the back along with the correct letters so they don't have to flip the cards back and forth to figure out which answer they want. Your final step before getting started with the app is to download it from the store on your iOS or Android device. Unfortunately, you cannot go to the Apple store to download it, but you need, you need to go to the website and click the link. When you click the link, it will take you to the web store and give you the opportunity to download it. After you download it, press open and it'll ask you to log in. Once you log in, you'll see your classes and you'll be ready to start. When you're ready to ask your questions, choose one in the app and open up the website on your projector. Click Live View and your students will see the questions along with checkboxes for their names. As students decide on their answer choice, you will walk around the room with your device and use the camera in the app to start collecting data from the clickers. You don't have to be right by the students to scan their cards and you can scan a few at a time as long as they're sitting near each other and all the cards are facing the same direction at the same time. The graph live updates on the site so you get instant feedback as you check your students' understanding. You can show the graph to the students once they've all answered and address misunderstandings right away. This is a great app to use if you need to take a poll or check for students' understanding of big concepts and mastering of key skills. I hope you find a way to use this app in your classroom. Let us know how you're using it. Thanks for watching App of the Week and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get these videos delivered into your inbox each week.